Good morning. This is Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your morning egg outlook for Tuesday, February the 20th. Uh, as we return from the three-day President's Day holiday weekend, we are higher pretty much across the board. This morning, corn is uh, two to three better. Beans are eight to 10 better. Both products are higher. Meal is about three to four dollars uh, a ton better. Bean oil is up 30 points. And even wheat is uh, flipped higher now, at least in Chicago, it's up one to two cents. Uh, up two to three in Kansas City is still lagging a little bit in Minneapolis, down uh, two to three cents. Uh, I think most of the talk right now is generating around Friday CFTC report, which continues to show a, a rather sizable buildup of short positions across the uh, agricultural space. In corn, money managers sold 16,000 contracts last week. This extended their short position to just over 314,000 contracts. This is the second largest short position ever reported. Uh, if you tack on what was uh, done Wednesday through Friday, I think we're probably sitting on a record short position right now. Now, at about 325,000 contracts. Similar story in the beans where the uh, money managers sold 4,200 contracts, uh, 13,000 in meal. However, they were net buyers of about 9,000 in bean oil. Uh, net across the soybean complex, money managers have been net sellers now for 12 consecutive weeks, extending their short position to nearly 198,000 contracts, and that's the largest since the spring and May of uh, 2019. A uh, weekend weather in South America, I think, was largely as expected dry across uh, nearly all of Argentina, while good rains were distributed across much of Brazil. Argentina is expected to remain dry most of this week with normal temperatures. Much needed rains are forecast for late in the week into the weekend. In Brazil, we'll see a pretty good mix of rain and sun over the balance of the uh, next week to 10 days. Some areas in the northeast parts uh, of the country may see uh, too much rain, much above normal uh, rainfall could lead to some flooding concerns and soybean harvest delays. Uh, as of late last week, Brazil uh, harvest had reached 32 percent. It's well above the 25 percent pace from a year ago. Uh, there continues to remain a pretty sizable gap in production estimates from the world's largest uh, soybean producer, Mike Cordner. He lowered his Brazilian production forecast another 2 million metric tons this week to 145 million metric tons. Uh, this is well below Conab's estimate of 149 and the USDA at 156 million metric tons. Uh, this is the only change he made this week while leaving his corn uh, in Brazil. Uh, corn estimate unchanged, same with corn and soybeans both uh, in Argentina. <clears throat> First crop corn harvest in Brazil has reached 29% versus a five-year average of 26. Second crop plantings have reached 59%. That's well above uh, the year-ago pace of 40%. U.S. weather this week looks to remain in a much uh, above normal temperature pattern with showers this week expected to favor the eastern corn belt. So uh, higher, pretty much across the board here with uh, ge beans gapping higher. Uh, overnight, we'll see how much strength we can generate on short covering. Uh, I suspect gains could be limited. Uh, as of right now, we continue to see beans offered uh, in the global marketplace well below the U.S. Uh, and corn uh, coming uh, cheaper from Argentina. So for now, I think we might be limited to hopefully up to $12 uh, price level on the old crop beans and uh, perhaps uh, four and a quarter on some short covering here in the corn. Thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.